don't usually wear a cap, but my hair doesn't look all that great, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. What is going on, guys? It's Sespike here, bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video, and today we're gonna be looking at the group stages for ESWC 2017 Paris Open that's gonna be going on from February 17th through the 19th, obviously, in Paris. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop straight into it. So we're looking at the pools. There is four pools of four teams on, you know, here for ESWC. And one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that there's only one NA team per group and then two EU teams per every group. Obviously, that is the case. This is an EU event. I would expect something like this to happen. So we're just going to go ahead and go down through the pools. Group A, you got Red Reserve, which actually merged with Orbit. I know a lot of you guys just heard me say that there's only one NA team per, you know, per group. And a lot of you guys would be like, what? Red is freaking... Red is NA. No, they actually form with uh, Orbit. So there's that. Opti Gaming, Team 3G. Then you have Group B, Rise Nation, Team Infused, and Supremacy. Group C, Splice, Phase Clan, and Extroverty Sports. And then Group D, C9, Elevate, and Fnatic. Now, going into the predictions and the analysis of every group. Group A, Team 3G. I, I actually said it in my last video for MLG Atlanta that I didn't know what to expect out of Team 3G. I'd never seen them play before, so I was gonna go ahead and pay attention to them going into Atlanta. Guys, they turned my head. They can seriously cause an upset with Optic Gaming. I can definitely, definitely see it if Optic Gaming has the slow Friday that they are known for having. If they have that slow Friday and they play Team 3G, then I am fully convinced that Team 3G can beat Optic Gaming, but Team 3G has to be on their top as form. Optic Gaming has to be at the bottom. Red Reserve, being the team, assuming it is the NA team that they are, uh, you know, before they actually fuse with Team Orbit, I don't think they take any of these teams, honestly. The way I see it, Optic Gaming first, Team 3G second, Red Reserve third, with Optic Gaming beating Red Reserve, Team 3G beating Red Reserve, so Red Reserve going down 0-2, and I think Optic Gaming and Team 3G go, um, fuck man. You know what, I'm gonna say that Team 3G beats Optic. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Another thing, I try not to be biased in this video because a lot of you guys know if you've been watching these videos for a long time, not an Optic fan, despise Optic for every sense of the word, and I am a massive Team Envious fan. Just putting that out there, but I try not to be biased, but I do want to see that upset. Group B, this is interesting. Supremacy, don't see too much of them. Honestly, they are, you know, eh, a bit of a silent team. Don't want to count them out. Haven't seen them play for that much. Team Infused versus Rise Nation. This is going to be an awesome matchup, and I hope they have it on main stage. An NA powerhouse versus an EU powerhouse. Team Infused had a massive run in the loser's bracket for Atlanta, and then Rise Nation actually took MLG Las Vegas. Even though they didn't have the greatest showing in, in Atlanta, I still think they have what it takes, honestly. But then again, they just straight up went to Atlanta, went home for like a day, and then they had to travel out to Paris. I don't know if they're going to go ahead and have, you know, all that in them i guess you can see the energy and the practice because they basically whatever level of practice that you went in with you're gonna have for this event but i think team supremacy stays at the bottom i think rise nation and basically as you see it rise nation takes first team infused second supremacy third but i think infused beats rise i'm gonna go ahead and predict that right now that infused does beat rise group c splice Face Clan, Extroverty Sports, Extrovert, I think they were thinking back in Advanced Warfare, haven't heard too much about them, honestly, so I'm gonna go ahead and have to wait and see what they have. And obviously they didn't go to Atlanta, so don't know if they're that huge of a team. Then you have Splice and Face Clan, I think Face Clan actually beats Splice. Splice, is, that's gonna be another huge game that they have on uh, main stage. An NA powerhouse versus an EU powerhouse. But I think Face takes it, honestly. I think it's gonna be Face, Splice, and Extroverty Sports for your team. Group D, Fnatic. They're going to go ahead and stay down at the bottom. Did not have a good showing in Atlanta whatsoever. They definitely need a new roster. And C9 and Elevate. I uh, Elevate did beat C9 in Atlanta. Keep that in mind. Reedy and Aix have been butting heads recently. Makes for a great storyline, great rivalry. But I do think C9 does take Elevate this time around. Or C9 takes Elevate. I think that's just what I said. Yeah. L uh, C9 takes Elevate. So how you see it, C9, Elevate, and Fnatic will be the placings for that. Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and read off to you the teams that are in open bracket because, quite honestly, guys, this is just a very stacked open bracket. Like, we thought Atlanta was stacked already, but because a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, where is your, you know, your Team Envy, your 
uh, Alle uh, no, Allegiance, your Luminosity Gaming, where are they? E United, they won in <clears throat> in Atlanta, where are they? Well guys, they're going to have to go through Open Bracket. And in case you guys don't know what Open Bracket is, that is either the team, the amateur teams trying to make it into pool play have to fight through that Open Bracket in order to make it, it is double elimination as well, or the pro the pro teams or amateur teams with not enough pro points to make it into pool play have to fight through open bracket i believe it's like 9 10 11 rounds that you have to go through if that's the case and you know this is stacked guys let me just read off to you the teams that are on here you have e united rogue imperial millennium tk renegades ltd eg insomnia panda gosu e6 gosu blue envy g2 echo fox e epsilon l allegiance and lg guys I think this is stacked. This is a stacked open bracket. I don't know they're going to stream it. I doubt that they're going to stream it. But they might because they're big teams. I hope they do. But I'm excited. ESWC is always an awesome event. I don't remember it from Black Ops 3. I do remember it for Advanced Warfare. Optic Gaming versus Denial Esports in the Grand Finals. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> I love that event. The crowd always gets hyped over any team, not just Optic, and that's another thing for me. I like it when the crowd just gets hyped for both teams, because then you hear more action on both ends of the spectrum, and it's just gonna be a great time, guys, honestly. But I will predict that I don't think that because a lot of these uh, teams aren't used to being in the open bracket and going, fighting through that, then pool play, then championship bracket, like the pros already have trouble with winner's bracket and loser's bracket as it is. If you're a pro team who's been on that for about two or three years now from Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and even at the start of Infinite Warfare, and you're not used to playing an open bracket for a long time, or at all even, you're going to struggle. And I do think, you know, for as much as, you know, Envy is in the open bracket, I don't think any of these teams will win Paris if they're coming from open bracket. You're definitely going to see your winner from groups. I, w I would say, I would predict that your winner is going to be from groups, and I don't think anyone from open bracket is going to make it, uh, you know, uh, make it far. Or they might make it far, but I don't think they're going to win. But there it is, guys. If you guys want to talk competitive Call of Duty, my Twitter's in the description below. You can always DM me about it. You can tweet me about it. I'm always going to be replying. I'm going to be super active over the weekend for the tournament. And, of course, you guys can leave your comments, your feedback, your questions in the comment section below. I always try to get you guys as quick as possible. And there's that. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. In case you guys did, make sure to leave a like, rate, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out of here.